Factor number four is the mechanical advantage of the broadhead. Um, mechanical advantage is a term from physics that uh, delineates the amount of work that a simple machine or a machine can accomplish with the amount of uh, force that's put into it. So it essentially, in our era, is a force multiplier. So the higher the mechanical advantage of your broadhead, the more work it's going to be able to do. And our work in this term is penetrating the tissues of the animal. So we want to be able to do as much work as we possibly can. So we want to take our broadhead, our simple machine, and make it as efficient as possible. Now you can think of that broadhead as a series of inclined planes. The longer that inclined plane is, the longer the slope of it, the better the mechanical advantage. It takes less force to move from the low end of it to the high end of it. That's why wheelchair ramps are a long gradual slope. If a short abrupt slope would allow you to move from the bottom to the top more easily, you can bet that wheelchair ramps would be very short and very steep, but they're not. Keep that concept in mind when you're looking at your broadhead. Now, the more blades you have, the lower the mechanical advantage is going to be. So if you took an identical head and it's a two blade head, it has essentially two triangles. And if you put a three blade head on there, you would have three and a four blade four. Each one of those will cut down the mechanical advantage. So the idea is to keep the broadhead as low a friction as possible and as high a mechanical advantage as possible. When you look at your ferrule, the ferrule is another factor that's going to affect the mechanical advantage. You want it to be as long and gentle a taper as you can possibly get on there. You don't want anything that's going to reduce that mechanical advantage of the broadhead. The mechanical advantages can give you anywhere from 14 on up to about 56 or 58% increase in penetration. So next to FOC, it's the thing that will give you the most potential increase in penetration. So it's a factor you want to look at when you make the selection of your broadhead. And when you're making that selection of the broadhead, looking at mechanical advantage, go all the way back to number one and look at the structural integrity of that broadhead. If it doesn't have the structural integrity, it doesn't matter what the mechanical advantage is. But you've got to have that structural integrity and then get your perfect air flight, get the FOC where you want it, and then get the high mechanical advantage to make the best use of the saved force of the air that you've created with the perfect flight and with a high FOC.